I'm Dr. Ofelia Tordesillas. I'm a pediatrician. I graduated from the UST College of Medicine in 1974. And in 1978, I started my private medical practice. So go figure it out. I've been in practice for the past 40 years. And I, must, I am already actually semi-retired. So deciding to join Atomy has not been easy for me. Atomy, as well as its products, as far as I was concerned, were totally unheard of. And as a doctor responsible for promoting the best of health for my patients, I need to be extra careful at all times. My patients count on me, and so I really cannot afford to commit mistakes. And in medical practice, everything is all about evidence-based medicine, meaning when we make the choice as to which treatment and appropriate and correct and effective should be, be given to a patient, we have to make a choice of medicines backed up by a strong body of evidence. So these are my apprehensions when I first struggling through the decision of whether to join Atomy or not. Coming back home, I tasked myself to really educate me about Atomy. I watched videos, I reviewed relevant materials, and soon enough, I tried the products to validate the testimony. And it was a pleasant surprise, as my personal experience really was really beyond amazing. <laughs> yeah, really, really beyond amazing. And soon enough, I also started to accumulate my own wealth of remarkable experiences as I watched in amazement how my patients... Our cutting-edge technologies, a combination of the four advanced technologies that assure us of excellent products. High purification technology, which delivers a precise formula of the purest ingredients from biotechnology to patented technology to nanocapsule technology, really promise us nothing but the best. So what is Hemohim? Hemohim is a natural functional health supplement with specific immune function. And what does Hemohim stand for? Hemo is short for hemoglobin, X for hematopoiesis, or the process of manufacturing blood, I for immune or immunity, M for modulation, and him also in Korean means strength. Okay, yes. <laughs> so, what is immunity? Immunity ref refers to the capacity or the ability of our body to recognize and destroy pathogens. So what are pathogens? Ito yung mga bac bacteria, viruses, fungi, and all those that can make you sick, that can harm our body. So immunity really is the ability to protect our bodies from harm, the ability to prevent our bodies from getting sick. So why take him with him? All of us need a very strong and healthy immune system that all of us, we are made up of trillions of cells, individually all of us, made up of trillions of cells, and of the trillions of cells, only 10% are human, 90% are bacteria. So we're only 10% human, 90% bacteria. And at any given time, there is that symbiotic relationship between the good and the bad. Meron silang ecosystem. But there has to be that balance of 80% good, 20% lang dapat ang bad. Ganon. So you can just imagine how our immune system is put to task Kasi pang within lang, ang dami na niyang kalaban eh. Ang dami ng bacteria. So yung pang nasa labas, mas lalong abundant ang bacteria. So yung ating immune system really works non-stop. So we really have to support our system, our immune system, for it to be healthy. So what can harm our immune system? Environmental pollutants, like the exhaust fumes coming from all those thousands of vehicles around us, ultraviolet rays, alcohol, smoking, eating too much protein, eating too much sugar, fatty foods, pesticides in your fruits and vegetables, stress also. 
So collectively, or if I may add, anything with preservatives, instant food, lahat ng yan, collectively, we call them the free radicals. And if the free radicals are left unchecked, they will lead to oxidative stress or damage of our body. At pag nagkaroon tayo ng oxidative stress, yan ang nagiging sanhi ng premature aging, premature degeneration of our body, not only from the outside but also from within, Alzheimer's, heart disease, cancer, those are just examples. So, courtesy of oxidative stress, courtesy of a very unhealthy lifestyle, and stress is really the number one cause of cancer nowadays. So you really have to be careful. So how can Himuhim help us? Himuhim can really help promote the recovery of our body against oxidative stress. If oxidative stress can lead to premature aging, Himuhim can slow down the aging process. Yes. It's, it can slow down the degenerative uh, changes that may occur in your body. It has also been found out that Himuhim can activate our immune cells. Immune cells, the like of your white blood cells, lymphocytes, the natural killer cells, the cytokines, which all play a significant role also, not just in fighting infections, but is also in fighting cancer. And hematopoiesis, as I mentioned earlier, this is the process of manufacturing blood. You can see in the slide, before and after taking Himuhim, you see a proliferation of the RBC population on your right as influenced by Himuhim because it has also been found out that Himuhim can activate your bone marrow to produce more blood cells and to increase the number of hemoglobin. It can also help boost stem cells, stem cells which are very crucial to rejuvenation, repair, and anti-aging. Nagpa stem cell para mas mukhang bata. Easily that's 50,000 pesos per procedure. Sorry, Andrew. <laughs> so anyway, you don't have to go through that. You don't have to go through that process. You don't have to spend the fifty thousand pesos. Him or him will be enough <laughs> to, to, yeah, to boost those stem cells to rejuvenate you. And then white blood cells. White blood cells are the cells of our immune system. They are very, very important because they are at the front line of our battle against infections. When our body gets assaulted by microorganisms, bacteria manyan, or viruses, the WBCs are really at the front line. Front line. Para siya si Pac-Man that eats everything and anything that gets in the way until they explode at maging pass. Diba? Kaya nga pag minsan pagpa-urinalysis ka, WBC or past cells, mga ganon. So, a patient with low white blood cell count is at great risk of acquiring infections. In the same manner, a cancer patient undergoing chemotherapy, the oncologist really makes sure to monitor the WBC. Because in chemo, you not only kill the cancer cells, but also yeah, including the WBC. And once the W, the white blood cell count really goes, really, really goes down, plunges down, the oncologist is forced to stop the chemo or else he'll be literally killing the patient. So, as shown in this slide, you compare him with him with all the other immuno enhancers and you see him with him how really superior it is compared to the other immune enhancers. Let me share with you the story of my patient. He's 12 years old. He came to me with his mom, of course, and complains more than a year ng recurrent ang kanyang nose bleeding and konting magsalita, may shortness of breath. That was April 24, 2017. I requested for a blood count the reason why meron siyang shortness of breath, kasi anemic talaga siya. Look at his hemoglobin. It's only 9.2. Normal should be at 14 and up. 
the hematocrit, which is also the same as your hemoglobin, uh, 28 yung kanyang hematocrit as against a normal of 42 and up. The WBC was dangerously low, and that's, and that's what really scared me. It was only at 3,400. Normal should be 5,000 to 10,000. The platelet count explains the more than a year recurrent nose bleeding. It's norm, not just a low normal. The bracket should be 150 to 450. He was only at 164. Kaya siya nagno nose bleeding. So I was tempted to refer him to the hematologist right then and there. But then I said, I would like to challenge him with him and see if it will work for you. Anyway, you've been through this for more than a year. What's another two weeks of trying to observe and monitor? So I placed him on him with him, two sachets a day, with instructions to come back after two weeks. But he came back more than a month, barely more than a month. And when he came back, three weeks na siyang walang nose bleeding, at kahit anong takbo niya, hindi siya hinihingal. Mm. And looking closely at his repeat blood count, May 29, the hemoglobin from 9 rose up to 13.9. And I said earlier, the normal is 14. So it's really at 14 na rin, ganun. The hematocrit from 28 rose to 42. The RBC count, well, it was not uh, indicated earlier, but the WBC from 3.4 rose up to 7,900. And the platelet count, unbelievable, 370. The reason why hindi na siya nagbibleed, ganon. When I interviewed the mother and son, most recently when JP came over to our center, they invited the mom and dad. That was the only time I realized, sabi nung mom, actually, doctora, 12 days after pa lang, pinag-repeat si BC ko na. 12 days after pa lang ng himu him, talagang lahat daw tumaas na. Sabi ko, ba't hindi mo pinakita sa akin yon. But nevertheless, it really underscores the point na it's not hemoglobin, himu him. It's not hemoglobin, it's not himu him for nothing. Diba sabi ko nga kanina, it can help increase the number of hemoglobin. So you can see very clearly in this example, also the WBC and even the platelets. So that has spared that child from too much physical and financial ordeal had I referred him outright to a hematologist. Nothing wrong with doing that, but I'm just so, ha so happy that right now, meron na akong ibang option. Kasi before I was introduced to this, Wala akong option eh. It would have been easily dismissing the patient. Sige, so padala kita sa hematologist. Ngayon, ang dami ko ng options. And it's really making me a lot more fulfilled in my medical practice. Really. <laughs> so that was the comparison side by side. So him him is perfect for everybody. From athletes to housewives to workers to students, to elders, we all need physical strength, especially so for the aging population, because the aging population is more susceptible to a declining immune system.